Okay, today is Thursday the 28th. I'm heading for a town called Hadong uh, and the Jirisan National Park. Now, I don't have any internet, so I've got a, an app. It's called Nav, and it's a Korean map, a bit like Google. So I have to follow the arrow, or just look at the arrow, and it tells me what road I'm on, and I have to follow it and change course whenever I decide to turn. So at the moment, I'm about to turn from a yellow road, a minor road, onto the blue road, which is going to be the freeway. So I literally have to hold the phone in my hand the whole time so that I know when to turn, what street I'm on, and if uh, I'm not sure, I can just pull over and check it. So this is the way I'm getting around Korea. Seems to be working so far. My first Korean tunnel I'm on the freeway, uh, and this is the first uh, first tunnel I've come to. It's about 70, 80 kilometres, maybe nearly 100 kilometres to go to get to Hadang and then to the Jirian, Jirisan National Park where I hope to do a three kilometre hike to a waterfall, hopefully. It's very misty at the moment, uh, just going in through my second tunnel. This is a major freeway, 100 kilometres an hour. That's the fastest one I've been on. 80 was the last highest one. I've got these uh, noises, alarms that you get when you're going through the tunnel and you think it's a cop car following you. I keep crapping myself thinking, oh, someone's chasing me and it's just the... They've got them in the tunnels. I think the idea is to make you slow down. It's working on me anyway. Not this guy. He obviously knows he's fake. Here's another one. You don't scare me this time. The real one will come up and we'll just ignore him. This is near the town of Hadong, which is famous for its cherry blossom, and they have a big festival on 
right now this looks like a huge marketplace um, apparently it gets really busy and they sort of say don't get here during the festival because there's too many people this is a one-way bridge and I've just taken control I'm heading for the National Park to do a walk hopefully and uh, see a waterfall I think there's a lot of other people going the same idea Well, they said don't get here during the festival, and I think I know why. I'm heading for a walk, and all these people are here for the festival. I really picked the wrong time. Absolute nightmare to get a parking spot. We'll leave the nightmare behind. I tried to park in front of a shop, he wouldn't let me. <laughs> so I moved in front of another shop. So hopefully, it won't be towed away when I get back. So this is the start of the walk, uh, it's supposed to be three kilometres, you pass a temple, Saswaga or something temple and then get to the falls, hopefully there might be some water in it. Meanwhile construction goes on. Looks like we've got quite a few people doing the same walk. So I've got the, uh, they've got the welcome mountains out for the celebrations. I was probably lucky to get a hotel. So this is the Sasawagi Temple, I think it's called. It's actually called the Sangi Wesa Temple. This guy is waving me on, so it must be okay. She's giving me the finger. He's giving me the finger and he's going, fist up. That must mean, go ahead. El Turisto. Great bit of artwork. These are the big fellas. You have to make, get the okay from them before you. Okay, so here's the Sangi Wesi Temple. This entirety. Along with bamboo stalks. Seems to be okay, happy. Oh, I've left the Madeline crowd, but he came here to see the temple. So I think this is the road that goes up to the waterfall. There's water flowing, so I keep following this, I should find it. This guy has just told me I can't get the waterfall, the road's closed. I don't know if they're working on it or, or what. He doesn't speak English. I just found another sign. It says the Burial Falls. Maybe there's another way. Could be in luck. <coughs> Follow the yellow brick road. Uh, Burry Falls. 2.4 kilometres. Huh. This must be the non-tourist track or something. 2.3 kilometres to the falls. 8.8 for the peak. I don't think I'll be doing the peak today. Okay, we're here. And we have to walk to the falls. That's the peak. And hopefully, she'll look something like that. You could say that tree's hanging on for dear life. 
Just don't lean. Here we go, Burry Popco. Popco Falls, two kilometers. At least we're on the right track. This is bridge over the river, no name. Beware of nasty creatures in the river of no name. Bridge crossing ahead. It looks like this bamboo has taken over the whole of this area again. Nothing but bamboo. I can't read this, it's all in Korean, but I think it means big rocks become small rocks, become smaller rocks, become sand, and then the wind blows it away. Confucius. Another bridge to climb. We go, Burry Falls, 0.3 kilometres. Sambinbong Peak, 6.9. But the road's closed, so like I didn't want to go there. There's a cop here directing traffic. There's all the uh, so many cars. These are all the cars and buses coming up for the festival on the weekend. It's going to be a nightmare. This is my new motel for the night, the Motel El Dorado. So tonight I've decided to have a motel, room 207, and we have toilet, very fancy shower, I if it makes a difference. And 
double bed, TV, fridge, yeah, just the usual, oh, a microwave, and some uh, little condiments. And I got a present. That could be tea tonight. So this was $67. That's pretty good value.